All right, it's Wednesday morning and we're uh, heading back to the uh, Velo City Conference out at the Congress site. Another pleasant morning. A little surprising, originally the uh, forecast was rain today, so it's nice not to have the heavy rain. Although, it could start raining later. It is spring after all. By the way, my good friend Mark with Bicycle Dutch has an excellent video that he published yesterday uh, of the reverse ride going from the conference venue site back here to the city center. I'll be sure to provide a link in the video show notes below so that you can reference that wonderful video. And you can see the uh, main train station there. Quite a few bike riders getting queued up. And again, front of the train station. Through the magic of video editing, I wanna take us back in time to the night before uh, where I actually experienced a Vision Zero rally happening at this exact location. It's great to see everybody out there.
we're just a little over a mile at this point in the route. You can sure feel just how noisy it is being next to four lanes of traffic and a center tram line. I wasn't going to jump that curb. I've already got one broken spoke on the back wheel. I can't afford another one. So I wonder what the story is on this property here. Looks like a pretty massive redevelopment opportunity. All right, we get off of that busy roadway and get into some residential areas here, 30 kilometer per hour zone and some rough pavement. <laughs> this street could definitely use some smoothing out.
Yeah, it's been quite helpful having the uh, Vela City Congress directional signs getting us out to the conference site, the venue, which is called the Congress. So it's been quite nice. I did lose track of the signs a little bit yesterday afternoon. So hopefully I can keep track of them this morning. Nice, delightful little park over here. Hopefully you can hear the birds. They're quite happy. It's a beautiful morning. It's a little crisp, not too bad. see some families out walking and see the uh, counter here set up with the Vela City Conference. Yeah, nice little uh, preschool push bus there in the park. <laughs> There's some out having some fun. Again, always appreciated when you can have beautiful routes like this through parks, a little nature bathing, forest bathing, if you will. And we're coming up to our cool little narrow pathway. Some colorful graffiti along the way. relatively recent tree planting bins there with some cuts in it, rain garden cuts to be able to uh, help filter the water, get it in, feed those trees. Okay, I think this is kind of where I lost sight of my signs. Aha, this is the one I missed. Last time I went down that road, a very cobbly road. Excellent. Although this looks familiar.
Okay, we are back on route. Although I should say we never really lost the route this time. Maybe I didn't even last time. Maybe I just didn't see the signs and I did turn the right direction. Who knows? In any case, those folks up ahead are going to the conference as well. So, we're good to go. It looks as if we're about uh, 3.4 miles into the ride here. Making good progress. I'm actually getting a little warm wearing my jacket. It's a little chilly, but probably not quite this weight of jacket. And off to the right is a, uh, an expressway. Just barely hear it at this point. Nice being on our little tunnel of trees away from the noise and pollution. Super, super comfortable and pleasant. This is a smooth asphalt path through here. You can see some of the backyards of some of the local residents. And they do have gates to access the pathway, the trail as well, which is always quite nice. And connection into the neighborhood there. Again, when you can build a network of off-street pathways, multi-use pathways, bike paths, and connect them to the residential communities, neighborhoods, business districts, 
that connectivity really empowers people to be able to link together trips in a high comfort manner, high comfort environment. And again, connectivity into that neighborhood there. And we're not far from the expressway there, but it really feels quite comfortable. And even when loud, fast moving cars are right there, the trees help. You'll be able to tell the difference when we lose the trees in a moment. A little weed management on the edge. Great example of trail side management techniques so necessary to maintain your pathways and trails once you've built them and don't block the trail with your equipment <laughs> it's really not necessary They literally could have positioned right here or over there. They did not need to block the actual trail. Oh well. They got it 75%, right? And we're almost there, just on the other side of this tower.
And here we are. This is our turn. We descend down into the facility. Okay, and we're here. Uh, day two of the conference on Wednesday, May 10th. And uh, I'm gonna swing on over here and lock the bike up in the uh, guarded bike parking. So total distance for the ride was about five miles or eight kilometers. Uh, it took me 37 minutes and the average speed of about 11.2 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. Hey, huge shout out to the Velo City Conference team for uh, the wayfinding signs that really helped out a lot. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this ride along video in Leipzig, Germany. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the Active Towns channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And if you are enjoying this content, please consider becoming an Active Towns ambassador by supporting me on Patreon, uh, buy me a coffee, or uh, buying things from the Active Towns store. I've got a bunch of uh, Streets Are For People merch out there, and you can also make a donation to the nonprofit as well. Uh, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.